When it comes to our economy, American families do not trust this Democratic Party government one bit. Nearly 90% of Americans are feeling anxious about inflation. 28% approve of how budget President Biden is handling it. Just 28% approval rate. Only 22% think things will get any better after another year on his watch. Americans' distrust of Democrats stands to reason. <clears throat> a year and a half ago, every single Senate Democrat provided the deciding vote for a $1.9 trillion reckless spending spree that's caused the worst inflation in 40 years. <clears throat> the Democratic leader, Senator Schumer, said back then, I do not think the dangers of inflation, at least in the near term, are very real. <coughs> he went on to lead every single Democrat to cast a deciding vote for the party line spending spree that has destroyed families' purchasing power through inflation. Now, the very same people want to deal our economy another body blow on a party line vote. The same Democrats who said that a $1.9 trillion spending spree would not cause inflation are now saying, listen to this, it's a good idea to raise taxes, kill jobs, attack American energy, and hammer American manufacturing, all, all in the middle of the apparent recession which they have already created. Everyone knows that raising taxes in a recession kills jobs, but that's precisely what Democrats are desperate to do. So here's what they're proposing. A huge new tax hike on American jobs, more than $300 billion in new taxes. The Joint Committee on Taxation says a whopping 50% of that burden would fall directly on our nation's manufacturing sector. So in the middle of a supply chain crisis, Democrats want a huge job-killing tax hikes that will disproportionately crush American manufacturing and manufacturing jobs. Oh, and Democrats also want a huge new tax hike on American natural gas. Natural gas? is the single largest source of electricity generation for our entire country. A plurality of all the power in America comes from, you guessed it, natural gas. It's also how countless families heat their homes. And it's the linchpin of our domestic energy independence and our ability to export to our allies in Europe. But the Green New Deal Democrats are coming straight after American natural gas with huge new tax hikes. The result will be higher electricity bills, higher heating costs, less exporting to our European allies, just as Putin is trying to cut them off, and 90,000 workers in the oil and gas industry, listen to this, out of work. Eliminating 90,000 workers in the oil and gas industry in the process. Democrats' tax hikes on American energy don't stop there. With gas prices still sky high, our colleagues are also proposing to resurrect a defunct tax that would take direct aim at American oil refining. And they want it pegged to inflation. So the tax hike will automatically climb up and up exactly when the country can least afford it. So on top of all this, the Democrats also want to pour new funding into the IRS so they can more easily come after small businesses. IRS agents get new cars, new computers. Small businesses, they get more audits. Add it all up, these tax hikes and others, and Democrats want to drop an anvil, an anvil on our economy at the worst possible time. The nonpartisan Joint Committee on Taxation has demonstrated the Democrats' plan would shatter, 
shatter of President Biden's promise not to raise taxes on households earning less than 400,000. Households making less than half that amount, less than 200,000, would see a $16.7 billion tax hike in the year 2023 alone. This is people making under 200,000 would see a $16.7 billion tax hike next year alone. Amazingly, the very lowest earning Americans who make less than 10,000 per year would see the largest percentage tax hike of any group in the entire bill. So it hits people who make below 10,000 on a percentage basis harder than any other group in the entire bill. So Democrats are labeling all these tax hikes the, the Inflation Reduction Act. But nonpartisan experts have already proven that's a flat out false. The budget experts at Penn Wharton show this bill would slightly, slightly increase inflation in the near term and do nothing to meaningfully reduce it in the long term. So it's not about inflation. When you raise taxes on something, Madam President, you get less of it. It's the way it works. So in the middle of a recession, Democrats want to raise taxes on American jobs. In the middle of an energy crisis, Democrats want to raise taxes on American energy. In the middle of a middle-class inflation crisis, Democrats want to raise taxes on households way, way below the president's $400,000 threshold. All of this economic genius, all of this economic genius is brought to you by the same people who called a $1.9 trillion inflation time bomb the, quote, American Rescue Plan and promised it wouldn't cause inflation right before it did. We know what it looks like when Democrats say they'll help the economy, and American families can't take much more of it. 